bred her yes. from mum next door. Mm. Mushy feisty when she was born. Yeah. <laughs> feisty by name. Hey. So what's happening? What, so how old is she now? She's 14 now. Right. She's working and competing in dance medium. Cool. Um, she's just very heavy and square. Yep. Chunky little girly. Yep. Carries a lot of weight. Yep. And the saddle does tend to wiggle forwards. Yep. And give us some nice girth rubs on the elbow. Okay. So I work her in both of my saddles. Yep. Black saddle with the, the wider head. Yep. Was made to fit her and me. Yep. Because she's changed shape a little yep. bit. Um, and the other saddle is. One yeah, that's right. It's a standard, um, yeah. And I use that at home and went to prom. Right, right and okay. So that's your work saddle that's my and work. Okay. Um, so this is. Um, sorry, darling. Bad. No, that's a bit of rib. I can feel the ribs. <laughs> 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 the um, we've got a lot of gravity pushing everything forward, haven't we? The I know she's only stood in the stable, which is not on a bank, but you've got this downward direction here. Hey. So we'll put the, we, what do you want me to do? Work with the black saddle and see if what we would do for him will still work with her? Yeah. Yeah? If I put it on with the pads that yes. we were going to do yeah. for him, and then we'll know whether it's going to be shareable or not. So we quite often do this if we like if we're doing if we have a share saddle or if we're making a saddle from scratch we'll, we've got to make sure it will work yeah with what we change this saddle feels like it fits much better to me when i'm riding her than when i'm riding him okay, let's have a look with it naked that's all right i'm used to i've got torn rotation <laughs> So you've got really good contact in the middle. You've got less there. And she's got loads of room. I presume it's going to here. Yeah. Yeah. Lumps under here. Yeah. Just point a minute, Feisty. Point, point. Yeah. 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 So if we I'm just going to go forward quicker, <laughs> basically, <laughs> um, because we're taking it up and away. Yeah. Um, so that's when does the so the brown one. If, I don't know if you're going out competing her. Um, I would prefer to take her in that one. In this one, and then do the brown one for him. The brown one is narrower. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. Now we have the new girthing system. Yes. I think we should try that she would be a good candidate for that because it yeah. really stops it going forward. Yeah. If it, obviously, she has to like it and you have to like it. Yeah. But even to the extent that we can, with the new girthing, I've got one in the car, but with the new girthing system, she should be able to keep it back a little. Yeah. Um, rather, because he doesn't need it, he's never going to send it forward. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, this would be the right horse, if you're going to make a change, this would be the right horse to make the change exactly. for. I mean, I can literally end up sitting here, you know, the right. front of the saddle is here. Yeah. Hmm. So... Especially in the, the extended work and so on. Just... I have got with me... i take this. So we know we could make exactly the same again for her with a different girthing. 
I'll show you. I've got the girth with me. The reason saddles go forward is that the back end is pushing everything forward. Yes. Okay. And on you've got morphology or the build of the horse as well. Yes. That's not yeah. helping and gravity. Yeah. So we're trying to keep everything on a cone that goes forward, just going the wrong direction. You want a tube is much easier, I suppose. Um, so this billet's trying to get to where this billet is. Yes. So then this billet goes in here. Yeah. So then in the nicest possible way, you're using a nice big num nice big fluffy girth mm -hmm. because she gets rubs. Yeah. So then you're making, there's not very much room for her to bring her leg back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So what, we, what does work, obviously the fluff works, but you're actually you're putting more in there as well. Yes. So it's sort of, yeah. it's a catch 22. Um, this girth we designed. Which is why the fluff always gets pushed out the yeah. back. Yeah, because there's not enough room for it. So this is like trying to put on a pair of stilettos with thick socks. You know, yeah. this is the feeling you've got. This is her girth space. That's the back of her pecs. Yeah. That's the girth space. And then her barrel starts. Mm. So we're trying to get all that girth plus some fluff because she gets rubs. Do you know what I mean? It's she's just a bit difficult. Long in the frame anyway, no, she's tiny. So this is, I've got this, we do, we've got another third one now as well. But so this is the horse size. We then do what we call pony, which is really good for, that works on ponies, but also works with these old fashioned yes. girthing compared to our new girthing. And then we have an even more petite one because I did a 12 hand pony the other day and I had to make an even smaller one. So this is a bit wide for her, but it will work because obviously being a bespoke saddler, we never have anything in stock. <laughs> and she's much thinner than I thought. Yes, she's 22, 22. Yeah. Ago. At the front. You watch. At the back. <laughs> Be a different story. No. You do not. No. Nope. And you always do the front when you're tightening this, you would always tighten the front first. Because like a man with a beer gut, if he does his belt up, it goes to here. Yes. So if I do this up tight first, it's going to still try and go to there and we've defeated yes. yeah. the object. Good girly. Good girly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what this, this, you could argue, so what this does is we've reduced what's here to give her a girth gall. And we've got this holding it back. You can see that this is a bit long for this girthing because it's going a bit like this. Yeah. But we do, obviously, like I said, we do one that would come to here. So, but that's, so this is the theory. So if you put your hand in here, you feel how free she is. Yeah. So then put your hand in again, leave it in there. So actually we go trip, trot, trip, trot, trip, trot. Yeah. It comes tight. And then she's like, you want me to lift my front end yeah. and do big yeah. steps? No. no. So what she'll do is she'll send it far enough forward so you sit on the shoulder so she can bring the shoulder under the saddle. Yeah. But that, because that's where it has to go for her yeah. to do the big steps. So it's what we want her to do is the big steps with you sat back here with a saddle that fits. Yeah. That makes sense. So let's have a let's tack her up with this saddle with this girth. Okay. And then just see if you feel it, see what the difference is. We could even put your old girth on first, go and look what you're doing at the moment, put this girth on, see the difference. And then I have got with me, it's a different seat, but a, another saddle with the alley girthing, this new, the swinging girth at the back. Okay. So you could try, you will see the difference okay. in that as well. I find that front one wrong. Yeah, it has to go in it's here. That's that what one. I did with him as well. They're but, old numbers. Yeah. yeah, it's the front one. It took me about a fortnight to wash it down. Well, I thought, because... Why does that not sit like the other numbers? Yeah, yeah no, I never then. put the back one through. Don't, just I leave just it out. through there. Well, no? yeah, but I, there's no need. I just think that Being that's what... Yeah, no, it's... <laughs> but you see, look, we can pull that up there, yes. and then actually that wouldn't fit in. Yeah. So then it's nice. It's a, a, If we do too much that way, it pulls at yeah. the front too much that way it rubs at the back so they're nearly too good for themselves these numbers yeah i think because they last too long mm. and they they're such good quality 
I do like them though. No, I, I don't, don't dislike I them. Don't like I'm being devil's advocate here, I'm just trying to, because. So if I was going to a competition, I'd want less show, I would want more shoulder showing. So to say that with a lift, more shoulder showing. So if it would stay there and not go tight here, that would be really, you'd have more. Because I remember writing for a judge and they were complaining they couldn't see the shoulder because too many people have the number on the shoulder. And we know this saddle's going to go forward, so then you've got... But anyway, I'll we'll put it on where it normally goes. So you can see with this... How you've just got so much stuff in the back of the elbow. You've got, like, that much. So with a going forward saddle, there's several ways of stopping it going forward, and one of them is what is this, using the elbow. Yeah. You can have a saddle that's not too narrow, so then it can't go forward because of the shoulder and the yeah. wither. And then you can help that even more by jacking the back up, so you're diving it down into the front. And what, all I'm trying to do with the girth, the new girth that I've made, is to not use anything. So it started off, I had a pony, looked a bit like an avocado. I had yes. to keep the saddle back. And if we if we didn't do the back billet up, it didn't go forward. Obviously it bounced, yeah. but the saddle didn't go forward. If we didn't if we did the back billet up and not the front, the pony moved beautifully. But it went forward. So it's just, you know, what we all would do, what we, when we have so little room to, to, to do it up, this one stops it going forward, but can compromise the movement. Yes. And this one stops the back bouncing, but can then help it go forward. So it's, that's all I, I just didn't want to be making narrow saddles, narrowing the stirrup bars is another one. Mm. You know, I just didn't want to, I wanted to try and find a way, but we are trying to stop water from going downhill in a way it's and if we can yeah and it but we've had even had horses that aren't this shape that go better in it yeah because it's you know we're trying to keep this much saddle on four inches down here why not spread it So this is where you just have to let the customer, you can't do this in a rush. That's why I said in my last blog, you know, it's pointless me coming here and saying, I've got to go. The customer has to get the horse soft and it takes a bit longer because something's happened. And sometimes you have to actually come back another day. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. You know why? You're up on the shop. <laughs> Because it's now put because your hip spur is actually in the girth. So yeah. Now I've waddled up, haven't Yeah. The she she literally at one point your you your heel was actually in the fluff because she'd gone so it goes up and comes back. Okay. But I can see if you carried on now, it will go. And the the a tendency is then to girth it tighter, well, in general, say, I don't yeah, mean. You say that I tend to go loose. Yeah, well, that's more trying sensible. Trying to get it yeah. to go back again. Yeah, it, you need to because that's what I was going to say. If you're yeah. tighter, you do it, the further it will go. Yeah, yeah. So, but I have, I have ended up a competition where obviously you can't keep jumping. Yeah, yeah. Up, where she's got a little grey mark, the edge of the numbna, which is exactly the same. Yeah. Is there? So yeah. I'm, you know, another oh, you're well. two inches, and then there's a huge gap yeah. under here. I think, okay, this looks more <laughs> professional. Well, jump off, let me try the, the girth. Ha <laughs> ha! 
out of my room. When I first made my first one of these girths, I started off with a stud guard on the front billet and a normal girth on the back billet. <laughs> and it tucked in, worked a treat. <laughs> so I know that today she's been having some opinions. But I'm not saying that, you know, we're not gonna, we can't change her personality or no. whatever but just to see if you just does feel any different. Worse or better, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's quite amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Because you're not on the shoulder. And she's sitting better. Different picture. So with this you don't need to do the back billet up too tight so you're not crucifying the horse. It's not sliding off. It can't it doesn't have to wait until it's moved to where it's comfortable. But obviously we are fighting gravity, so in some situations we create a different problem. Whatever that may be. Most of the time it just works so well. I think the elbow is the biggest change for any horse in this girl. Yep. And that saddle isn't swinging out to the left as much either. Look how, love, look how lovely and soft her legs are. When you see the video, the biggest change has to be the elbow. Yeah. You just can see that she can bring, like... She feels just more comfortable throughout. Yeah. You're sitting on the bit that moves the least. So yes, you can sit still. I don't feel I'm being kind of bounced. No, so and your much. legs were like, just like jelly. A bit like they went softer when we put the pads under Oscar's saddle. Yeah. But I mean, he would probably, you could try it on him as well because it does stabilize the saddle. He doesn't need it. No. But he might find it, he gets less stressful. But he might find his, I don't know if yeah. he's more worried or less worried, but it's a, I think it's a toolbox. Yes, yeah. So I'm going to pop you in this other saddle just to look at the girthing on it. You see the difference? So which one is this? Is this this oh, is the this DPL. Is the... So you'd have never ridden in this no. before. Oh, with the different... This, got, yeah. this is the difference in the girthing. That, so can that go in there for a different horse, different fit, or is that...? It, no, it, no, yes, okay. you can, but it moves. It will move oh, over. I think that stitching is like a hold it there. With, yeah. And so... The, it just gives you three points of contact. Right. And this one, so you've got a lovely wide, basically the whole of the flap, that pressure is spread yes. all the way across there. Okay. Completely different, probably won't fit you very well. But I just, this is normal life. But you see we can, See the difference? Yeah. So this doesn't have to be tight. So what was happening, the other one, it was going like that, wasn't it? Sort of, a lot of people tell me they're not gonna like it because they look at it and then they're like, oh, actually, no. I'm gonna leave the buckles halfway down. Right. A bit further. So they don't mark No, because there's no short flap and it's too chunky. I want your leg to hang out. Okay. And that's too thick okay. in here. So you have to have dressage leathers with this. Well, we reckon we give them, they go with the saddle, if that makes sense. I think that it just answered a lot of things that we've been trying to do. So that the tendency is to want to free the knee. Yeah. yeah so that we have a loose pelvis. Yes. And this is the standard is quite an advanced block. Whereas the original, most saddles, especially ours, the, tradition, the original base is a very vertical block. Yeah. And we've been going further and further this way and more and more up to, to let the rider sit comfortably. So I'm going to rename this. It's a support when it's correct and it's a block when it's wrong. Right. 
Okay, so I don't want people riding in half halt. I want them to yeah. have a soft leg, yeah. like you just had with yours. So this is just starting off made in that direction. Okay. Have a feel. For this one, you would probably have a 17 and a half because that comes up quite, I don't know, but you know, it does, people tend to have a smaller in this than they have. So this is when I have to learn to not say anything and let the customer talk. <laughs> it's the art of a saddle fitter. Yes, it's there to help you in a forward motion, not an inward. Right. Not yeah. No, because she looked the girth with her original normal saddle looked yes. super. Yeah. But this is. This feels like she's flattened and hollowed yeah, away yeah. from yeah. me on this one. That we know that you and your horse love that saddle. This is basically the same tree inside, mm. it's just strapped differently. Mm. You know what I mean? Does it look? It looked like. Come back and just come back a bit. I think it's um, because it, it sits further off the horse, arguably it's gone forward, okay. which would argue, would explain why she, that she was tense. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That she could send it forward because she doesn't like it. Yeah. Or but it's gone forward because it's too the shape of it is too far off the horse and not sitting in in the middle okay but it was just i just wanted to look at the yeah. show you the different girthing but that would be the girthing i would put on that saddle your other yes. saddle so if yeah. i made you a new like yeah. you've got which works i would put that girthing on yeah. if you went into canter because yeah. it's easier to play with yeah. canter and that's and then i'll I'll shout, soften your leg and tighten your leg. So okay. you can, you know what I mean? You just see if it, whether she, you're just a bit, because this has freed your pelvis up so much. Well, it's rotated you back a bit more, is what I mean. The way it's strapped. Can you feel the difference? And then soften it again. So this is taking away some of your stability because it's not because it's a, because it's different yeah. and it's you've got nothing down here. So I need something a bit there. Yeah. So I think that she. It's like. She likes the stable. She yes. Yeah. And this is and when you said that you don't use this. Yeah. This saddle will make people have a, a sore core. Right. Because it won't help. Yeah. It frees this up so much you have to use that. Yeah, I so like she, doing that. Yeah, you like doing that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's but that. But then, but then if it doesn't work for her, there's well, no point. No, there? but it's whether. In time, you change and get used yeah. to. Yeah, or whether I, because she's so not difficult to fit, or whether we get a seventeen and a half. That you know, if we let you play with it for a couple of weeks. Do you know what I mean? Just something. So, so she likes me when I when I'm more stable. She's yeah. used to you, right? So that stability okay. is is a, is slightly okay, so more let pressure me in go here. And see if I can be, work myself more stable. Yeah, <laughs> I can talk to your body. <laughs> because that's the only real difference.
So this saddle makes the, I think, looking this combination horse saddle rider has taken her from a nice hugging leg to a really soft floppy leg. Like it's a completely different tension on the side of the horse. It's a big difference from her. I know what you feel is what I. It's nothing to do with what I see. So I just I did a Trisha video for you to. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, still a. But she is coming up through the core. Yeah, yeah. I just don't think you're I used can, to feeling it that I way. I can sit stiller. Yeah. Now I. Yeah, and now you've worked out what was... Yeah. But her legs look longer, and so do yours. That's the big difference. Yeah, and I usually ride one hole longer than this. You don't need to go longer? No, only because it, I feel I can let go through... Yeah, but this saddle's, there's less, it, there's less in here. Yes. So you don't yeah. need, it gives you that yeah. anyway. I need, I would need, let me take some pictures. Back in stable. Back in stable. But it, it's not far off. Yeah, don't let her. But it would, you'll, I would be interested when you see the video. You're lucky we have it being filmed today. You can have see the difference yourself. Yeah. But you've got... And, You'll have it, you've got more horse in front of you because of this girth anyway, haven't you? I think we'll do a 17 and a half long. Yes. So, because I don't think you need more saddle, okay. too much more. You need half an inch in the bone skeleton of the saddle, right. but then I can strap it to be like an 18 inside. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, to give so you a bit more room and you'll get down in it. Okay. Yeah, but I don't want it's a bigger saddle, like this yeah. from here to here. Yeah. I'm going to put it, I won't put, I don't want a massive panel on it. No. Because we'll let that one. The foundation is not big enough, is it? No, but also when this muscle here, when that works, helps send it forward. So we're doing everything we can here. Yeah. Let's not add it yeah. at the back to shove it up the neck. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, yeah. So, um, do a 17 and a half long. I think the balance is perfect. This really in the right place. It's coming down to behind the elbow, and this billet will, is can go where it has a bit more freedom. If you look, if you had a normal there, so you could decide one day if you know she you're just going to go for a hack or something or whatever. You don't have to use the balance girth. You've got choice. You don't. This isn't stuck here. Yeah. Because if you, if I leave it stuck there, it's not. It won't work for another girth. Keep still. So I would say we would go for the shorter balance girth, not the long one, because she, we don't, she's so, got such a barrel and she's not a long horse. Yes. We haven't got so much room to play with. So we'll go for the shorter one so that it would end up coming here, not here. And then a longer, I'll get my pad, longer, okay. flat, okay. longer, block, and slightly higher. Everything else the same. The camera out. So we, this is just our. This is what we make as our base template saddle now okay. for this for this one. So, and the idea, as I said before, is to, to rotate your pelvis to make it softer, let your legs hang out, yeah. but still be obviously not like jelly, but so that they're in the right place. You've got no stitching here, so you, you've got it softer the seat's softer yes. because we can if the reason that seats can be hard is because they have to tighten the leather yeah. to make it last a long time 
with this, you can actually tighten this from underneath so we've got a way we can have it a bit softer. Um, you have the choices that you have are obviously the colour, mm -hmm. stitching, and you can have the logo in the cantor. Yeah. You could have that any colour you like. Um, we need to measure and make you some dressage leathers. Yes. But the fit of this saddle, she's obviously she's not difficult to fit. It's a nice wide head anyway. It's got lots of foam in it. And you can see when I take, I'll just take a picture of that. Good girly. You can just see from the body what we're fighting. Misses. Perfect panel mark. Yeah. It's it more it's got more here where we want it. It's really good. Right. Should go to bed and have a lunch. Thank you. <laughs> I'll make some notes.